In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. The scripture today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 42 through to 54. But woe to you, Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass by justice and the love of God. These you ought to have done without leaving the others undone. Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love the best seats in the synagogues and the greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like graves which are not seen, and the men who walk over them are not aware of them. Then one of the lawyers answered and said to him, Teacher, by saying these things you have reproached us also. And he said, Woe to you also, lawyers, for you load men with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch these the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. In fact, you have you bear witness that you approve the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore the wisdom of God also said, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they will kill and persecute. But the blood of all prophets, which was shed for the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. And from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and, and the temple. Yes, I say to you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe to you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter in yourselves, and those who were entering in you hindered. And as he said these things to them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to assail him vehemently and to cross-examine him about many things, lying in wait for him and seeking to catch him in something he might say, that they might accuse him. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true disciples of yours. In the scripture reading today from St. Luke, it's a powerful one, where Jesus is condemning so much the Pharisees and the scribes, and even then down to the lawyers as well, for the way they've mistreated everybody, and about how the fathers killed the prophets, and these people built tombs for them. There are many warnings there for everybody. We just need to take note of them. Yes. Take note. Read the scriptures. Get to know Jesus Christ. Get to know his teachings. Today in the world, we found out that Queen Elizabeth II has passed away. The sadness has come across many people. She was the monarch to many. She touched many people's lives. 
Now, of course, as tradition goes, she is now dead. May she rest in peace. Memories eternal. And long live the king, King Charles. Pray for her. Pray for him. The new role of responsibility that has come upon him. And don't forget every day to give God the glory for all things in your lives. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.